Hello everyone, my name is Clarissa and I'm an Italian-American 18-year-old violinist. I was born in Milan, Italy, which is actually where I heard the violin for the first time. My dad had tickets to go see to La Scala, uh, to Teatro La Scala, to go see the Sibelius Violin Concerto. And I went, I was only three years old, and I went to listen with him. And he thought I was going to get bored very quickly, but I actually felt in love with the sound of the violin, and I couldn't get enough of it. And so I started buying CDs and recognizing music and hearing very much a lot of, of music and um, by the time I was five I was begging my parents to start playing and so I went straight to the violin and I started playing very badly <laughs> at the beginning. It's not an easy instrument to start but um, I loved it. I loved it from the first second I laid my eyes on it and so I don't know why I can't explain it but I started playing violin and then when I was about six or seven years old we moved to the States to Chicago uh, for my dad's job and uh, that's where I really grew as a musician the first years that's where my passion grew and I had the chance to play and perform for such amazing professors in Chicago and uh, that's really when I found out that my passion was being on stage and playing for as many people as I could. Um, I actually then went back to Milan to study and to complete my bachelor's degree which I got when I was 16 years old and uh, while I was doing university, I actually did high school at the same time. And so by the time I was 16, I had finished my bachelor's degree and my high school diploma. And I moved to Salzburg, which is by far my favorite place to live so far. And um, I moved here uh, about two years ago. And it's been so great completing my master's at the Mozarteum University. And recently, in February of this year, I won the first prize at the International Mozart Competition. And I think that was definitely one of the highlights of my stay in Salzburg, but also of my life. I, I have been following this competition since I was small, and it's such a big historic competition. And uh, it was such an honor to be able to play Mozart and to win in the house of Mozart. So it's definitely a very, very uh, happy moment of mine. And I am so glad that I am now here in this awful moment for the world in this pandemic to play for you. But it's actually pretty ironic uh, that I, uh, I ended up uh, studying at the Mozart Town and winning the Mozart competition because um, up until very few years ago, I actually thought Mozart was the toughest composer to play. And I stand by that still now because it's so simple, but actually very, very difficult. And so I never thought, <laughs> I was always, you know, um, very frustrated when I played Mozart. And I kind of learned the beauty of it and the art of it when I came here and was able to experience all this beauty. And I think also knowing where um, I, I lived, you know, in Milan for a while, where Mozart loved to go, and now living here, I feel like I've really come into contact with um, how beautiful Mozart is and his past and his um, hometown. So I feel really connected to his music, and I listen to it constantly, and I want to play it constantly. Um, so I'm so happy that I get to do this concert, which features also works by Bach and Paganini, but uh, I get to play this Mozart Sonata for you this week.